Hey everybody, Andy Austin with the Bald MP. Gastrocolic reflex. What is it? Well, typically uh, it's a reflex uh, brought on by overeating or certain food allergies. It's a reflex that stimulates strongful contractions of the colon. And everybody, I think, has had it at one point in time in their life. And if you say you hadn't, you're probably lying. But anyway, here's a funny story that I hope you enjoy. It wasn't my finest hour, but I hope this will give you an idea and remember what gastrocolic reflex is. So I had a conference I was teaching at up there in central Arkansas a couple years ago. And it wound out to where my beautiful bride of 23 years was able to come with me. And usually whenever I do a conference or a talk of any kind, I don't really eat a whole lot beforehand. I just don't, you know. So we go up there, drive up there. It's a couple hours from the house. Do the talk. Fantastic. Had a great time. Before we went, my buddy said, hey, y'all need to stop by this country restaurant and get the chicken fried steak. It's fantastic. So we had got done with the, the lecture and we walked by there and saw that country store. I said, hey, let's go in there. And it was, y'all, it was wonderful. Humongous chicken fried steak, butter beans, cornbread. It was some kind, because I was hungry by then, y'all. So we get done, coming on back home. Good day. Y'all, now, if anybody lives in that area, I think it's beautiful country, southern Arkansas. But there's two things in southern Arkansas. as pine trees and Dollar General stores. And we figured out about every 20-something miles, you'd come across a Dollar General store. I think it's fantastic marketing. But anyway, y'all, we was cruising along there, enjoying the piney woods, and that gastrocolic reflux hit me. And I had to go right then, quick, fast, in a hurry. You know what I mean? And we've all been there. But I'm the only one stupid enough to put it on Facebook, YouTube, everything else. But anyway, I'm here for you. But y'all, I was driving, and I started sweating. And I'd have given everything, I'd have given a kidney for a Dollar General store at that time. But there wasn't one around. It wasn't nothing but pine trees, y'all. And my co-pilot, my bride, my love of my life for 23 years, she was enjoying this, okay? Because everywhere we go, we have to stop. She has to go to the bathroom. Now it's fine. So she made this, she knew I was under duress. And she says, you know, darling, I have some toilet paper in the car. For such as situations like this. And y'all, I put it off, put it off. And the whole time I was thinking about that Mel Gibson movie, Braveheart. They sitting there and they watching it. That group of thousands of English men on them horses with them swords coming at them. They fist the fight. And he's saying, hold, hold. That was me, y'all. I was holding. I was holding. I was at 10 and 2. White knuckle. And then it got, got to where I was, you know, we got to, we got to do something. This ain't, this ain't, we ain't, ain't no Dollar General store around here. And I knew if I got to the state line, it wouldn't be nothing but rice fields and soybeans. So that'd be privacy zero. So y'all, I said, okay, I made the executive decision. I said, all right, the next red dirt road I'm on, I'm on take and we going we gonna get it down right there. So thank the good Lord, here comes a red dirt road. I whoop in there. And by this time, all my cognitive upper motor functions, fine motor skills, gone, gone. I throw open the door. I, th I think I got the car in park by this time. I throw open the door. And I'm trying to get my britches down. I said, where's that toilet paper? And my bride throws. Now, y'all, this, this was once a roll of toilet paper, okay? This was once 
consider a road. It had been rolling around in the car for about three years. So now it was nothing more than a grapefruit sized ball of cotton. And at that time point in my life and under the dress I was in, I lacked the fine motor skills to which one would need to gently separate that two ply away from the, the roll. I just couldn't do it. So all I could hear at the time was my heart beating and the giggling, or no, cackling of my bride. So I pitch it back to her. I said, get it started. And y'all, I go grab the whole that steering wheel, and I, you know, I had to, I had to go number two right there on that red dirt road. And she was a laughing and cackling, and I was thanking the good Lord that He let us have this red dirt road at the time. And just at the time, I was feeling good about myself. I looked up. And I saw a power line. And I followed that power line. Now I was still naked from the waist down. Okay? I was. I followed that power line. And about from here to about 20 yards was somebody's front door, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I ain't never seen a house that close in my life. I thanked them in my mind. But gastrocolic reflex, y'all, it's real. It'll make you forget your name, everything. So that's all I got to say about that. I hope you enjoyed it. Next time you're in a bind, you're going to think about this. Bye.